So binomial probability again, this time we're still going to talk about a person walking under a tree and having a 0.3 chance that he gets pooped on the head by this bird. Uh, but this time we're going to talk about at most and at least. Now if you haven't watched the previous video, that didn't make any sense. Um, okay, so if I walk under that tree seven times, what is the probability I get pooped on at most two times? So what does at most mean? It means that uh, zero times is at most twice, one time is at most twice, and two times is at most twice. So I need to consider the probability that I get pooped on zero times, the probability that I get pooped on once, the probability that I get pooped on twice, and add those probabilities together. Uh, this is a cumulative binomial. So let's look at what our formula looks like or how we write this out. We say that the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. This is the first time we've created our formula where we didn't have an equal sign. We had a, a less than or equal to sign. Okay, so what's that going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability that x is equal to 1 plus the probability that x is equal to to 2. And now we need to do this formula here, 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 three, three times. All right, so I've spread that out a little bit. Here's our three formulas. Uh, the probability that x is equal to 0, I get pooped on 0 times, is 7, 0, 0 0.3 to the 0. Remember, that's going to make a 1, uh, 0 0.7 to the 7. The probability that I get pooped on once is 7, 1. 0 0.3 to the 1, 0 0.7 to the 6, and the probability that I get pooped on twice is 7 to 0 0.3 squared, 0 0.7 to the 5. In each case, I've done that formula for that probability, that formula for that probability, that formula for that probability. Now I type those three things into my calculator, I'm going to get three different numbers. Three numbers, add them together, get a number like this. Now, if you type those numbers into your calculator, you're not going to get that number. You'll get 0 0.6472, but you'll see three dots on the end, three dots on the end, three dots on the end. I typed in that, got the exact answer, which was longer than that, longer than that, longer than that, added them together, and I got that number, not 0.72. Okay, uh, that was at most. This video is about at most and at least, so we kind of need one more type of question. I'm going to show you an extra skill when I do that at least question. All right, so the big change here is the probability that I get pooped on at least two times. So what does that mean? Well, at least two means two or more, right? Uh, so we're trying to find the probability uh, that x is greater than or equal to two. Now, you can do this the slow way. You can write this as equals probably that x is equal to 2, probably that x is equal to 3, x is equal to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, and you'd have to do like 6 of those, cal five, six of those calculations. That seems really horrible. 5. 5 minutes. All right, that seems really horrible. So what we should do instead is do the reverse. Do equals 1 minus the probability that x is less than... 2. Because if I find that, if I find the probability that x is less than 2, that I get pooped on less than twice, um, then subtract it from 1, I'll have the complement. Alright, so this is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0, plus probability that x is equal to 1, And then I just need to figure this out. Now, I figured that out in the previous question, actually. I already know what that number is, and I already know what that number is. Uh, I'm just putting those into those, those formulas. Now, if you rewind it a minute, you'll see that the probability that x is equal to 0 is 0 0.0824 dot dot dot. The probability that x is equal to 1 is 0 0.2471 dot dot dot. Um, and we can say 1 minus that, uh, which ends up being uh, 0 0.6705. Um, Okay, so what is what does that mean? There is a 67.05% chance 
that in a week, if you pass under that tree every time, you will get pooped on at least two times. Two or three or four or five or six or seven. I don't really like those odds a lot. Um, so out of a full year, uh, you're probably getting pooped on at least twice in a week. Um, 67% of those weeks, 30 something of those weeks, pretty horrible. Um, okay, that's at most and at least uh, two key skills there. You might need to add a bunch together, but you can also do one minus if it's sort of, if it looks like there's going to be more, more than you want to do in your calculation. So be smart about how you do your calculation.